once again, uh, brothers and sisters, we are carrying on from the previous lesson about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we are reading again from the book of uh, Mark chapter 16, from verse 6, this time round to verse 8. Let me read as we follow. But the angel said, <clears throat> Do not be surprised. You are looking for Jesus, the Nazarene, who was crucified. He is in here. He has been raised from the dead. Look, this is where they laid his body. Now, go, give this message to his disciples, including Peter. Jesus is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there, just as he told you before he died. The women fled from the tomb, trembling and bewildered, saying nothing to one, to one another because they were too frightened to talk. Friends, our Lord Jesus Christ is alive. He has risen. Previously, we've been uh, discussing about his sufferings, his death. And uh, uh, today, we want to focus about the importance of uh, his resurrection. Too important for us as Christians because the resurrection of Jesus Christ to those who were witnessing, witnessing uh, what was happening is marking the end of their anxiety and worries to the women that are their son had been killed, had been uh, uh, crucified, and had been buried. You see how happy they are to understand and know that uh, Jesus their son is alive once again. To the disciples, they are Lord, they are master, who they had walked to, I mean with, for quite a long time, teaching them, encouraging them. He had been taken away from them. Yet, the message here, he has risen, he is alive. So, to us as Christians, it is also very important, because we know that uh, uh, this story about the resurrection of Jesus Christ to us uh, is a pillar and a beacon of our hope to eternal life with Christ uh, forever and ever. You see, many um, evangelists and uh, founders of denominations and uh, religions who did a lot of work as per their uh, assignments in this world when their time came, they died and they got buried. And they rot in the grave. But our Lord Jesus Christ was buried, but he didn't stay in the grave. He rose again. And the Bible tells us that uh, he sits at the right hand of his father. And that is where he is interceding for us all the time in the days of our lives. And therefore, it is a, it is a great encouragement. So these women uh, receive this message from the hand of the Lord. And he tells them that I do not be surprised. You are looking, I know that you are looking for uh, Jesus, the Nazarene, who was crucified. Yes, it is true, he was crucified. And he died on the cross. But look, he is not here where you left him on Friday. He is not here. He has been raised from the dead. And therefore, uh, the angel is inviting the women for the appointments of doubt that uh, they may come and witness for themselves where Jesus had been laid. So he tells them, look, this is where they had laid his body. And you can witness for yourself, he's not here. He's not in the grave anymore. And therefore, what you need to do now 
is that you go, you need to go and give this message to the disciples, to his disciples, including Peter. His disciples uh, had not uh, made it to the grave. I am not sure whether they knew where the body had been laid because they were not uh, at the crucifixion uh, scene. The end fled, they were fearful, they feared for their lives. And uh, they may not know what has happened. They have not gathered courage and the commitment to go to the tomb like these women to, uh, so that they can witness these uh, miraculous uh, events of the resurrection of Jesus. But they need to be encouraged also. God is caring for them. The angel is sending the women to go and uh, uh, inform the disciples that uh, Jesus, their Lord, their Master, has already been risen uh, from the dead. So they are being told, go and give this message to, the, to his disciples, including Peter. Again, I don't know uh, whether Peter is around with him. Because I think these guys have led at a different point. The rest of uh, uh, ten disciples fled uh, when Jesus was arrested by the Roman soldiers. And therefore, uh, they disappeared. Peter was uh, uh, able to remain behind a little bit, following Jesus here and there. But at one point, at around three uh, o'clock in the morning uh, on Friday, he also fled, and I don't know whether they are together. But also, the angel is uh, mentioning Peter here. Tell the disciples, including Peter, let them know that their Lord Jesus Christ has already uh, resurrected. And another message here that uh, the angel is committing to these women is that uh, Jesus is going ahead of them. Of them. To Galilee. So there is a possibility of reunion. Not only that Jesus has risen, but again uh, there is a, a possibility of uh, meeting together and fellowshipping together. Again, going ahead of you to Galilee. And therefore, he continues to tell them that you will see him there. This is a very encouraging. You will see him there just as he told you before he died. This is a, uh, now the turn of event. Previously, there was worries and uh, disturbances and a lot of uh, question that Jesus is dead and they are no longer around. He, he is no longer around with them, the disciples and these women. But now, is that he is alive, he has risen, and uh, he is going to meet them. There is excitement. I think uh, the discouragement is being replaced with excitement and joy and happiness uh, from the side to, you know, on the side of these women. And therefore, uh, they are being told that uh, after telling the disciples the uh, resurrection of Jesus, they need to be aware that uh, Jesus will be at Galilee. So those who would like to worship him to meet with him, to fellowship with him, let them go there at Galilee so that they can be able to meet with Jesus. Another thing I see here is uh, from the message of uh, death and the burial of Jesus Christ, there is another uh, perspective of uh, good news coming. That now the story is changing from the story of sorrow and uh, something that people are whispering to one another that uh, he was crucified, he was persecuted, he died, he was buried to good news to report to the whole world that Jesus is alive, he has risen once again, he is alive therefore the story is changing and I think now there is this commitment of a, a message of a hope to these women and also the disciples. That's from this very moment henceforth, the message should be, he is alive. He has risen from the dead. And another perspective is that uh, there is that joy and uh, expectation of seeing him once again, fellowshipping with him once again. And I think this was uh, one of the best moments for the women uh, that uh, 
at Galilee, they will be able to see their Lord. That uh, at the residence of the disciples, they will be able to declare good news to them that their master is no longer uh, in the grave. To us as Christians, it's also good news that uh, this forms uh, the basis of our hope as Christians, that our Lord Jesus Christ is alive. He is no longer in the grave. He is alive. He has risen from the dead. And therefore, because he is alive, we will be able to see him. When we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, when we accept the way of salvation, those of us who are Christian, those who have Oh, oh, those of us who have this hope, we have a good message to us that we are going to see him. The disciples, the, the, the women who are told, you will see him there. Where do we see Jesus Christ as Christians? It is when the time of our, um, our rapture will come. We will meet with him. We will see him as he is. We will be able to fellowship with him will be able to witness uh, his scars from the uh, harms where he was uh, nailed. We will be able to witness his scars from the sites where the spear uh, pierced him. And therefore, it will be a good moment for us. And I think this is a, should be our expectation because our Lord lives, is alive, he resurrected. Then we will be able to see him. We will be able to see him. You will see him there, just as he has told you before he died. Therefore, my brothers and my sisters, this is uh, the basis and the foundation of our hope as Christians, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he resurrected, we have a hope of uh, resurrecting again, uh, even if we die in this body. Therefore, let us build this hope, and let us take this uh, resurrection of Jesus Christ as uh, our basis of our hope. Let us tell the world and evangelize to the world and tell them that uh, our Lord Jesus Christ is no longer in the grave. He is no longer among the dead. He is alive. He has risen. And let us go with that excitement all over the world, even during this pandemic time. It is the time to give hope to the rest of the world and the members of uh, the society that our Lord Jesus Christ is alive. He is no longer in the dead. Yes, he died, but he resurrected. And you and me shall resurrect if we accept the way of salvation, because it is through Jesus Christ that we will resurrect. May God bless you. May God build this hope in you.